In this tutorial, we'll look at how to patch fixtures and at all functions that relate to the patch list. Thank you for your interest in the Infinity Chimp Light controller and welcome to this tutorial. To learn more about the various parts of the Infinity Chimp Light controller, keyboard, and screen, you are advised to watch tutorial 1 and 2, Hardware and Software. This tutorial is based on software version 1.3. If your chimp uses a different software version, the functions or user interface may be different. Please note that we refer to the chimp hardware keys as keys and the GUI software keys as buttons in this tutorial. Patching Press Setup in the top toolbar. Then press Patch to display all functions at the top of the screen. To explain these functions, we first need to patch a number of fixtures. Let's press Add Fixtures, followed by Add Fixture from Factory Library. This is the standard library of the chimp. More information on the different libraries is provided in a different tutorial. In the overview, you can see three columns. These help you to select the right fixture. The first is the manufacturer, followed by the type, and then the modes available for the selected fixture. We'll choose to patch a dimmer and to assign it as 8-bit. Press OK. On the screen, we can see the selected fixture and enter the number that we want to patch. If applicable, we can also invert the pan and tilt and or set the fixture to respond to the master dimmer. As a final step, we can assign the address. There are three options, no patch, manual patch, or auto patch. In the first example, we select auto patch. With auto patch, the addresses are assigned in chronological order to the next free addresses. The chimp will always start from the last free address that is available. Below is a drop-down menu with which we can select the desired universe. The exclamation marks indicate that we can carry out a patch here, but that this output is not available. We're working on a chimp 100 here, and the chimp 100 is limited to two universes. So we'll select Auto Patch. Press Finish to confirm. To patch more fixtures, we just need to select Add More. Press Add Fixture from Factory Library. We'll now patch four Infinity IS-100 fixtures. We'll use the filter to make the desired selection quickly. So let's press the keyboard button and enter IS-100. All fixtures containing IS-100 are now displayed and we'll select Infinity and press OK. We'll choose 4, then press Next. Now we'll press Manual Patch. The GUI then presents the first free address. We can now enter an address or press Select Address and the GUI will open an overview. All free addresses are green. Addresses that have already been patched are red. Now drag the selection to the desired address and press OK. And finish to execute the patch. Finally, we'll choose to patch washes. Again, we'll use the filter to find the fixture that we need quickly. At the bottom of the screen, we can find useful information such as the number of channels and whether or not the fixture file contains a virtual dimmer. Again, we'll choose 4 and press Next. Again, we'll opt for Auto Patch, then press Finish. We've now finished patching and can press Close. 
Patch Overview. We now have an overview of what we have just patched. User ID is a number that the chimp automatically assigns to groups of fixtures in chronological order. Manufacturer, type, and mode are self-explanatory. Name is the username of the fixture that the chimp uses in programmer mode and can be modified manually. Under patch, we can see the universe and the address separated by a center line. In addition, we can also see information as to whether or not the fixture will respond to the master dimmer and whether pan and tilt are inverted. Edit Patch. We'll now delete a number of fixtures. Select the unwanted fixture and press Delete Fixtures. You'll see a notification asking you to confirm, which we will with OK. It is also possible to edit the patch after it has been created. To do this, select the desired fixtures and press Change Patch. We'll assign these fixtures to another universe. Using the drop-down menu, we need to choose Select Universe, followed by Universe 2. We'll then select Auto Patch and press OK. We can then use the Change options to invert the pan, invert the tilt, and adjust the Respond to Master setting. In this case, we are going to invert both pan and tilt. So let's press OK to confirm. In the overview, we can now see that the pan and the tilt have been inverted for both selected fixtures. In our show, we can see that the front light comprises dimmers, so it will be useful to assign an appropriate name to the patch while programming. To this end, select the fixtures and press Set Name. Use the on-screen keyboard or USB keyboard to enter the name that you want to assign. In our case, we'll use Front. We'll then press Enter and confirm with Yes. As you can see, the chimp applies a numbering sequence automatically. This function can be disabled if you do not wish to use it. We'll now show this with the following four spots. Change fixture types. You can also change the type of a fixture that has already been patched. To do this, press Change Type, and we can now select a different fixture or mode. Using the search function, we'll select the Infinity IS-200. Changing fixtures can have a number of consequences, so you will be asked to confirm again, which we will with OK. When changing a fixture, the patch is cleared as a different type of fixture, also contains a different number of channels. Press Change Patch to correctly patch these fixtures. We'll select Universe 1 and, in this case, choose an automatic patch. Clone Fixtures The final thing we'll look at in this tutorial is the Clone Fixtures function. This is used to copy all programming from an existing fixture to a new fixture. We'll select the fixture that we want to clone and press Clone Fixtures. In this overview, we can choose which information we want to include in the new fixture. Group data, preset data, and queue list data. In our case, we want everything, so we'll keep the entire selection. Now, we need to press the keyboard at the top left, which opens a screen on which we can choose the fixtures to be cloned.
We'll choose four and then press Enter. We'll now press OK and confirm by pressing OK again. The chimp indicates that four fixtures have been cloned. The cloned fixtures will not have an ID. We'll need to assign this ourselves. Select the fixtures and press User Number. We see the note that four have been selected. The cloned fixtures will not have an ID. The chimp suggests using the numbers 301 to 304. We want to use user number 105 and onwards so that it continues to the sequence. So we enter 105 and the chimp continues the sequence. The cloned fixtures still need to be patched, which can be achieved with the method already discussed. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Infinity strives to keep its chimp related tutorials and software information up to date. Keep an eye on our social media channels for the latest information on the chimp.